Today's soap, we are making a sunflower soap. Probably not your typical sunflower soap because I'm, I don't feel like being that creative, I guess. <laughs> but uh, fragrance we're using is Sunflower by Crafter's Choice. And I looked up the reviews. They said that this will rice and accelerate. So I decided let's do hot process soap today. So if I do use this in cold process, it will probably be a one or two colored soap, but not today. We're processing this soap hotly. We're also going to be adding in little black soap dough balls that I made actually a pretty long time ago. They're not cured. They've been in, a, in this container. We're going to do buttermilk. I wanted to add a milk and buttermilk sounded like the best choice because when I think of yellow, I think of butter. I'm gonna be using some citrus mica as well as some liquid sun. I added in some tuss of silk, kale and clay, sugar, and some honey. I thought honey would be nice with a yellow soap. So let's go cook up some sunflower soap. Well, this is the same day that I did that whole uh, hot process soap with the honey and the overflowing thing. Here we're trying it again. Here is our lye water with Tessa silk fibers melted into it. All right, we have a little more workspace here. Okay, that seems good enough. We'll be back when anything starts to happen. Well, I don't think I can stir this, but I'm just gonna check how hard it is. Okay, just checking. I thought you might wanna be there been like an hour or more, an hour and a half. And I'm waiting for the soap under here to flow over this and it's like taking forever. Well, this hot process process is acting weird because I've learned that you're supposed to let the center disc, you're not supposed to touch it, but this is not, it's not acting like normal. So I guess I'm going to stir it now. It wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, foam up and fold over like normal. And it's been a long time. Hmm. Thinking about adding a little water. Look at it rise. Interesting. Didn't really expect that to happen. Did you? All sorts of experiences today with this hot process business. I mean, it's looking done. It just didn't behave normal. We're at 2.13, 2.30. I don't know what the deal was with this batch. I really don't. I waited and I waited and I waited. And it never did the, the folding over. Let that cool just a little bit. And then we're going to separate it into two colors. Add our fragrance. And then try to finish this project. In order to let it continue cooling, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can attempt to mix, mix it in its colors. Hot, hot. Okay, let's do what do we get. So we got our colors here, our special colors. The oh so special. This is something I've never done with hot process because I've always been too scared. Of course the air conditioner turned on just in time. A lot more yellow than anything. Let's see if we can turn it yellow. Wow. It's a lot harder to stir hot process soap into some mica. This is all I'll do for orange. I think I'm going to turn the 
get a little bit more yellow and turn the rest of my batter yellow. Okay, that's good enough for me. Let's put a little bit of yellow vibrance in here and a little bit of oil. And we're gonna put that in the rest of the batter. I wanna add our yellow. Okay, I will mix this and then we will try to finish what we're doing, if it's possible. Okay, here is some of our fragrance. I'll add some in here. We also need to add in our kale and clay that's in here. Got a little bit of powdered sugar and we've got honey in here. And we've got sodium lactate in here. Let's do some mixing here. Mixing in here and in here. It's a really good fragrance. It's not like florals like roses and stuff. It's like a nice, definitely spring scent. I like it. I think I'm just gonna plop the this yellow into the big bucket of yellow. Here's this. You almost fell over. Sit still. We'll throw in some yellow. I'll throw in some orange. I am going to slightly swirl this, which hot process and swirling is a complicated thing for some of us, like me. Throw in some of these. That one needs to be moved too close to the other. <laughs> yes, I am having fun. Now I'm going to throw the rest of the orange into here and let it do whatever it does. If you can't tell, I'm just had enough of what's going on today with my soap. And we will put in more of these. <laughs> I keep hitting the center. <laughs> This was a rough soaping day for me. Well, this mess of a sunflower soap, let's put a little glitter on top. Maybe it will help the situation. I'm trying to cover up all of my imperfections and problems with glitter. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop there. See you for the cut. All right, same day. So we cut it once, once the long ways, and then again, half the other way. Sample piece. And there's that. Cutting these at an inch and a half. Not quite what I was going for, but Pretty colors, I guess. So I have it measured to cut these directly in half. And we'll get two bars here. And this is what our bar will look like. Except I will bevel it and attempt to make it look a little, you know, better. But they smell really good. I do recommend this fragrance oil. I'm actually gonna try it in cold process one of these days. See if it's as bad as the reviews were saying. So here is our sunflower inspired soap. Sunflower is a very soft, nice floral smell. It's not heavy. I am happy that I added glitter. I think that that helps. It looks a lot better in person, I think, the glitter, because it's kind of speckled throughout actually all the soap a little bit from me planing it and stuff. So if you didn't figure it out, the intro to this video was my original intro to the brown soap that I accidentally made. But I had to create a new intro because of the the uh, disaster that that turned into. Glad that's over. So in the end of this, I am pretty happy with the final result. I had fun throwing the black soap dough balls into the soap and the colors are nice. I actually really like that there's portions of uncolored 
because sometimes in hot process that happens if you don't get the mic stirred in well enough, like I did, didn't. Uh, there will be white spots, but I actually really like it with this soap because I think it's it looks nice. I think white and petals and sunflowers, with, it just looks good with yellow and orange. So sunflower soap, I am happy enough with you.